hi 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 hello friends welcome to my youtube channel we will continue our discussion on SCCJ 2013 electrical solutions part 2 the question on the screen is the load characteristics of DC shunt generator is determined by the voltage drop in armature uh, armature resistance the voltage drop due to armature reaction voltage drop due to decreased field current and the voltage drop in armature reaction and this is given the voltage drop due to armature reaction and voltage drop in armature resistance the voltage drop due to armature reaction voltage drop due to decreased field current and voltage drop in armature and field resistances so friends as you can see here the characteristics of DC shunt generator as you can observe this is a no load characteristics voltage here and uh, armature re reaction drop or armature resistance uh, armature reaction drop is taken here see so this is armature reaction drop and next one armature resistance drop or ohmic drop is here and next one third one here is the here because of the decrease in field current the emf also decreases so how I, so e is proportional to phi as field current decreases e also decreases here so these are the characteristics that uh, says that the load characteristics of decision generator is determined by voltage drop due to armature reaction voltage drop due to armature resistance ohmic drop and voltage drop due to decreased field current here Next question, how many at seconds are supplied by a motor developing 2 HP British for 5 hours? So, 1 HP is nothing but 765 watts and 1 hour is equal to 3600 seconds. Now, I want to know what is a watt second. So, in 1 watt second is equal to 765 on how many hp 2 hp so into 2 into so for 5 hours so 1 hour 3600 seconds so 5 hours means 5 into 3600 here so that you can get it as 2.6856 into 10 power 7 watt seconds here so the answer here is first one next question a four pole generator is running at 1200 rpm the frequency and the time period of the emf generator in the coils respectively so four pole generator so ns is equal to 120 f by b so here we want frequency so frequency is equal to 1200 into 4 divided by number of poles are So here F is equal to 1200 into 4 divided by 120 is nothing but 40 Hs. Now the time period. So T is nothing but 1 by F which is equal to 1 by 40 is nothing but 0 0.025 seconds. The option is B is correct one here. Next one here. The single phase induction motor which does not have the centrifugal switch is so here the circuit diagram for a capacitor start and capacitor and motors so when the centrifugal switch is not there it means it's permanently connected like this here so once it is permanently connected it act as permanent capacitor run single phase induction motor here so here we are connecting the capacitor to create the phase difference between the main winding and starting winding next question here when the multimeter is added to an existing voltmeter for extending its range, its electromagnetic damping is. So as you can see here, so here we are having a meter, that's multi-range multi, uh, multi voltmeter here. So here we are having different resistances here. So when we are connecting different resistance in series, so that the voltmeter range can be altered here. So for extension, the resistance should be more value. So as the resistance increases, what will happen to the damping? So as the resistance increases, the eddy current damping is because of flux linkages between the uh, winding windings. So flux linkages are nothing but n into phi. Okay. So the flux linkage is proportional to current I. As you are increasing the resistance, current automatically decreases. So that eddy current damping also decreases. So the answer is C here. Thank you, friends. Thanks for watching. We'll continue next session.